All right, everybody, this is Sheets. And for once again, we're week 15. And for 15 straight weeks, we've had uh, uh, Michael Brave Jayhawk Jensen here. Uh, really, uh, we've been doing just a much, much better job and much more in-depth job than I ever, ever envisioned. And I, I really want to thank Mike for suggesting that he come on here regularly because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's probably the best, if not I mean, it's got to be the best survivor content out there. There probably isn't any really anyway. So that's worth talking about. Um, so hopefully like next year, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do it again. And it's, and I will also say this for those of you that have seen this for the first time or whatever, you know, the true DFS discord is really freaking blown up with respect to people discussing real, real advanced stuff about, about survivor pools and things like that. So I, I encourage you guys to get on there as well. Um, so as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to go over where we've been and then where we're going. Again, just to kind of uh, recap, again, just for people coming the first time, whatever, is uh, my last uh, my last survivor pool uh, that I was in. Uh, I went out. I think it was week eight or so with the, with Vegas. I was fortunate enough to take one uh, a, a smaller amount of people, uh, one from nitrogen down the week before. So that was really good. So basically, been free rolling. And what we've been doing for the last like six, seven weeks is following along the remaining pool, specifically one particular pool that uh, that Mike remains in. And we've been kind of talking about uh, one of the uh, office football pools we, uh, we I, I kind of track and just continuing to learn on how to map and how survivor pool stuff works. Um, uh, last week, uh, just I guess from a football perspective, there was an incredible there was an incredible sweat with uh, with Dallas basically throughout the industry where they were basically 0% chance to win with uh, a few minutes to go and a whole bunch of ownership on them. And it's kind of, it's kind of, it's, you know, it's the, it's the way survivor works. You know, someone was whining in my discord. Oh, I can't believe this. This is, this is my best pick of the week and this is going to go down. I'm like, no, it's even worse than that because, yes. because, because, because all sort of expert survivor pool people were, were deliberately saving Dallas the whole season for that, for that spot. And yet it still could lose. And, you know, and that, that's, that's, that's kind of the way it goes. Um, but fortunately, and we'll talk about this is there were some kind of like droppy plays that, that, that lost this <clears throat> week, which, which, which reduced, um, which reduced some pools. So uh, what we're looking at now, we'll, we'll, then we'll, we'll, we'll bring Mike into it. What we're looking at now is, well, we'll have Mike explain what this is now. What we used to do <laughs> is start with survivor grid pool, survivor grid thing. But that's become obsolete as we get through week, you know, get to this part of the season. And we're really just all about mapping and figuring stuff out from that perspective. So, uh, Mike, how did you do last week? And, and then remind us of what pool you're in and what it is that we're looking at. Now, before I get ahead of myself, um, so we start uh, single standard single pick pool. Um, if there's more than one person remaining at the end of week 18, uh, play goes into the playoffs. If you did not use a team during the regular season, you can pick that team twice in the playoffs. Otherwise, you can pick that team once. So there's plenty of strategy and luck um, in terms of, you know, not getting boxed out um, if it were to go to the playoffs. Um, we started the week with 16 players. Um, I decided to... Wait, Talk hang on. You you almost you, you almost made me happy. How many how many did the did the did, did it start with beginning of the season? Okay, uh 1100. 1100. Now think about that. So it's 1100 now down to 16. Mm -hmm. And you and and you have two entries left still? Yeah, two uh two entries going into the week. Um excellent. Excellent. And we uh you know, a couple weeks ago I talked to my partner about eating the chalk and taking Cleveland and Seattle, which in a vacuum was a very poor EV play. Uh, I see him suicide for sure. But if it were to have worked out, the benefit would have been, a, been to be able to do double Dallas in week 14 mm -hmm. um, and uh, being able to save Buffalo in one of our entries. So that that's the part of it that I like. We did not do that. Uh, we ended up going Seattle and Dallas that week. This week, I look for another creative way to save Buffalo. Um, I I liked it less than I did the previous week for going uh, Cleveland and Seattle. My partner didn't 
I mean, he, he, he literally said, you do whatever you want. I don't care. Um, I didn't want to make the decision without a discussion. He just, he, he just didn't want to really want to do it. And luckily I did not take Las Vegas because that would have hurt badly. Um, three people went down with Las Vegas. The benefit would have been if we took Las Vegas and they won, we would have been able to save Buffalo for week 16, 18 or double playoffs. So that that's where the thought was for that. And again, th these are, Bad plays in a vacuum, hoping to be made up for an EV down the road. Um, we ended up going the obvious route, one Buffalo, one Dallas, um, and it was quite a sweat. I was box score sweating um, the second half of the games after watching the games with some friends at the casino, and that was, uh, that, that was a doozy. Um, obviously, I thought it was over when uh, – was it a, I actually honestly don't know. Was it a fumble or an interception? I honestly don't know. It was neither. Um, well, the, 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 the real thing was that that Houston had the ball on Dallas's one yard, three yard line. up the <laughs> how, did they get, how did they get the ball? How did they get the ball? How did they get the ball there? I honestly don't know. Oh, I don't remember how they got it there. But the point is, is that, is that they got it to, uh, obviously the touchdown literally ends the game. Yeah. And, correct. And a field goal really, I mean, puts the hammer on him, but. They 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 went for it on fourth down from the three up three points or from the two, whatever and I could imagine I've only imagined like sweating this one play for Dallas like you know like you play like Survivor the whole season and literally if Houston gets in from two yards you lose and if they if they don't get in it's not like you win you know what I mean no like, I know you have a chance know? yeah and and, and, and I, I'm wondering if you're on Dallas. If you're if you're rooting for Dallas, what you even what you want Houston to even do? Do you want Houston to go for it? Do you want them to kick the field goal? I don't even know what I'd be rooting for. So they actually went for it. They did not get there, and Dallas, you know, marched down the field and scored a touchdown and won the game. I love that. I love that part of the box score sweat. Um, yeah. While this was happening, I, I going into the games, I didn't know which of the two teams I wanted to lose if I got to pick. And it definitely was not Dallas. Um, so that thankfully they won. We, we would have been worse off either way, but, it, you know, tying this into the, uh, we'll get the spreadsheet in a second, but the people that had Green Bay remaining all took Buffalo. So if I were to have been able to pick who I wanted to lose between the two, I would have much rather picked Buffalo to have that sweat because then at least we would have been uh, one of the only ones, or no, we would have been the only one with Green Bay left. Um, so. The pick breakdown, I, I was, I was very puzzled. Um, you know, you can map this out. You can use common sense. You can use one, you know, maybe one or two levels of of mapping to try to figure out your opponent's picks. But then you see the picks come through, and it just doesn't make any sense. And and that's how and that's how it is sometimes. So you you do have to. I, I remember someone in the Discord last week they were hard on themselves for making a bad pick because of what the breakdown ended up being. And I told him, you know, sometimes, you know, there's so much randomness in this. So, right. you know, in my pool, there was someone that had Cincinnati and Las Vegas, and they were guaranteed at maximum a group of three if they picked Cincinnati. And they took Las Vegas instead which was going to, which was at risk of being a higher group. And then there were other people that didn't take Las Vegas that were going to force them to drop to Seattle or worse. So it, it, there were two, there were, I think three picks that I was completely off on the pick breakdown ended up being three Las Vegas, four Seattle, two Tennessee, and somehow only one Cincinnati. That really, that really surprised me. I think uh, it could have been three. And somehow it was only one or no, or, or, yeah, that, 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 that was pretty surprising. So we are down to seven play, uh, seven entries. We have two uh, looking at the spreadsheet. We are the top two uh, rows. Does anybody, um, does anybody else have more than one except for you? No, we are the only, we're, we're the only one with multiple. Okay, now you kept mentioning X Y Z didn't have Green Bay. X Y Z Green Green Bay. So now we're going to look ahead to this week and discuss the impact of that. And there's another kind of monkey in the wrench that's come up, uh, which 
want to kind of throw out there to you. So, um, so this week you have, uh, tell, tell me what we're looking at here because, because remember yeah. this is all week 15 and because it's a multi, multi-day slate. Um, I love multi-day slates. It, I love, it, it, I love it, throws, it throws another bit of, uh, of strategy into the mix. Tell us what we're looking at. Why don't you just kind of go through the, the yeah. top picks and tell me, tell me what's going on. Okay. So what you see here is if you see a team name listed, if that entry has that team, they will be listed somewhere on there. So if you don't see Cincinnati on someone's row, that means they do not have Cincinnati. Um, so starting in the first column, um, I'm showing three uh, most of most of the Green Bay picks. One other person has um, has Green Bay, and that's the person with Philadelphia. Um, so these are like the best case scenario picks for week 15 for each entry. Um, we, we have double Green Bay. And the second from the bottom has Green Bay as well. The third entry has Philadelphia. The fourth entry has Buffalo. Um, the other entries, I, I put that Cincinnati one in there, and I'll, and I'll get to that. I, I, I didn't mean to put that in there. I repost the picture. Um, and then everything after that, I put in order. So it's a multi-day slate. I love multi-day slates because it, it puts a really another big wrinkle into the strategy. Uh, depending on the release of your picks for the pool. Now, for Circa, this does not matter because you don't know if someone picked on Thursday until Saturday night. And I assume that's going to be the same for Saturday. So you don't know who your, you know, how many of your opponents took Minnesota, Cleveland, or Buffalo. You, you just have to guess. In my pool, I, I'm pretty sure that when the each game starts on Saturday, it'll show if someone picked them and okay. the order of the, and this is the order of the games. The order of the games are Minnesota first game, then Cleveland, then Buffalo. Um, and this is really going to come into play for, for, our, for our picks um, for, uh, for, for this week. After that, I, I only include the obvious teams. So, you know, someone's going to surprise me and take like the chargers or, uh, Denver or something, but the next tier of picks are New Orleans, Cincinnati, and Washington. Um, so that that's the, but but there's other teams that could be chosen, which are San Francisco on Thursday, the Chargers. I think Denver is a two point favorite, so there are a lot to choose from. But I didn't want to put everything. Well, let's, let's let's again let's put Survivor pull up grid here just just to see what we're talking about here. So just to see who the biggest favorites are. So mm -hmm. so Philadelphia is the biggest favorite, um, and let's see who's who's got who's got them available. Um, uh, the th the th uh, the third person, and they're probably going to take them. I would imagine. Um, Almost certainly. Yeah, and then the next, the next. Now, highest, but, 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 yeah. Eric, they, they do have Green Bay. That person does have Green Bay. Yeah, but Green Bay is much less likely to win, and 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 you could save Green Bay for actually, you really can't. But um, you used to be able to save Green Bay until Detroit became the best team in football, right? Um, I know, but it could be it could be the Sunday night uh, football game, week eighteen, win, and you get the seventh seed, the se uh, seventh seed, and Detroit may be locked into something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, uh, or locked out of something, depending on how it goes. Um, so Philly is the most likely winner. And then Buffalo is next. And to remind ourselves, one guy's got Buffalo available. Yep. Uh, I, I just presume, well, maybe I shouldn't presume that he's going to still take them because if you have Buffalo available, you can play them in 16 for openers. Um Oh, they have three choice. They, they have four choices. They can play them right. this week. They can play right. them next week against yeah. Uh, Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, week eighteen, if they have to win, or they right. can just save them for the playoffs and use them twice. That's true. I forgot. And the, same, that. and the same thing for Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a week fifteen play. They are a week seventeen, eighteen, and double playoffs play right. as well. Right. Um. Okay, so you are, so you have a choice, I guess. So you have you have Green Bay and Minnesota 
and Washington available to you. Now, now looking ahead, you keep on sliding all these guys with Tennessee and 16, right? That's more just to show that everybody has Tennessee. Um, and one person has San Francisco. So my thought is, I try to put myself in this person's shoes. They're in a nice spot. They have two unique picks across the next two weeks. They, as, as the lines stand right now, they would almost certainly take San Francisco in week 16. Um, they're playing Washington. They're a six and a half point favorite. Tennessee's an eight and a half point favorite. They could either get there the easy way by taking Buffalo or they could drop a little bit and take Cincinnati or Washington. I mean, if I were there, I'd want to try to realize my equity in the next week with San Francisco and increase my chances. I, I, if I were them, I would probably take Buffalo. It's also a unique team. and You don't run the risk, which we'll get to, of duplicating a pick with Cincinnati or Washington. The strategy this week for every player, as long as unless you're taking Green Bay, is to not duplicate your pick with somebody else. That's that that is the entire strategy. Um, at least that's our strategy. We we want to avoid that at all costs. Um, outside of we are taking a one we're we're taking one on Green Bay regardless, uh, because that's our best team available. They're more favored than the next tier of teams. And if we only take one of them, you know, at most, it's probably going to be two people total that take them if we were to only take one. And that's if. Well, what's interesting, again, to me is this is is Minnesota. Right. So this is this is. Oh, yeah. Well, for me, the reason why this is interesting to me is because I would love to. At least for one of your entries. I would love to have Minnesota available for 16 to take huge odds on them against Tennessee. Um, if everybody's going to really going to take Tennessee. Um, I talked about this a little bit last week. Um, so, but it's interesting because you have one, two, so you have the top two. So only two other guys have Minnesota available. I have to believe that entry five or the second from the bottom. What's the difference between Minnesota and Cleveland here? I mean, well, Green Bay, Minnesota, and Cleveland, you have – this is win chances. You have – Cleveland's all the way down here. They're, no one, who's, no one's picking them, right? Um, well, no, I disagree. I, I would look in terms of that. I would look, I would look at the actual chart itself. But Cleveland is, what, 58%. Minnesota's 65 I, yeah. I, I don't – there's no way – so a, a little bit more information. We proposed a deal um, it, uh, on Sunday night, um, 25000 per entry and play for, and play for, the, play for the extra 100 Okay. Um, and it was – the first person that replied denied it, which is fine. But I was kind of surprised the person that did it, what their entry had. But I think it's a tell on what they're going to do. Uh, the person that denied it was the second from the bottom entry. They're the ones that denied it. So I have to think that they are definitely taking Green Bay. I mean, I would have thought they were going to take them anyway, but I just have to think that if they're the first to refute when they don't even have a top two entry, because the top two entries are the ones with, in my opinion, the ones with Philadelphia and Buffalo and then followed by, you know, R2 with this other guy with Green Bay. Uh, but I have to think that he thinks he has an advantage by refusing the deal. And he's just going to, he's going to take green Bay, which would leave only one other person to take Minnesota. Right. So you did, you don't think that that guy one from the bottom would save Minnesota. So I'm, I'm, again, I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking ahead to 16, right. Correct. And I just want to, I would love everybody here to burn Minnesota, but it's not going to be the case, but you think a guy like that is going to be able is gonna is gonna know is not gonna know is even gonna consider taking Minnesota against instead of Tennessee in week sixteen or probably not. Um, not really thinking about that because if I have two entries, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, if I have one, then then because if I if we have two entries, we're going to split anyway. Oh, okay, um, all right. So if we have one, then it's gonna be, then it's a little bit more challenging because we know 
one person is going to have San Francisco available, but they don't have to do it either. It's, it, it's, you know, they could want to save San Francisco for the playoffs and use them twice. I keep, I keep, I keep forgetting about the playoff part of it. Uh, and even in Minnesota, I mean, they look like trash, but in the end, you know, they're a play for 15, uh, 15, 16, 18, if they need to win to get the two seed, or you could also use them in the playoffs twice. Now you wouldn't want to do that, but, you know, you could very, but they they could be the top two highest favorite in the first week of games of the playoffs, and then you pick them there, and then you just don't pick them again. But you you jump over to the other conference, and if they keep winning, you you know if someone had already used them is still in, they're boxed out, and you get to use them again. Um, so there's there's still you know some value there in having Minnesota for the playoffs. Um, we're more thinking about that third from the bottom entry that that's, that's the important one. If we knew right now that no one was taking Minnesota, we would take Minnesota. Um, our, our biggest concern is just not duplicating someone else's pick, but because of this Saturday slate, we have the benefit of the extra information and I, I'm, you know, we're, I'm hoping that my opponents are also looking at what picks we have available and other people, what, what picks other people have, and they're not field playing their pick. But New Orleans and Washington are basically the same win percentage. And the bottom entry, for example, really should take Cincinnati because they're going to be the only one to take them. They don't run the risk of duplicating their pick. Now, right. of course, then they're just going to go ahead and, be, and pick Washington, New Orleans anyway, but um, we can't take New Orleans. We want to take Washington, but we're deciding between, do we think that en- that entry three for the bottom will take Minnesota? If the answer is no, we're going to take Minnesota. Or should we use the information and hope that he takes them or, or, or someone, or someone takes Cleveland or one of the two take Cleveland and then look at the last remaining options and try to, and try to hope that Washington is not going to be picked. And if we don't think Washington is going to be picked, we're going to go green Bay and Washington. But if we think that Washington is going to be picked, then I, I, we might just roll the dice and go double green Bay. Um, I don't think any of the choices are great, but, you know, we got to do something. Um, and, and really, the, the EV is going to be dependent on what our opponents pick anyway. Yeah. And we don't get to decide what they pick. And it's just not obvious. Um, it's we can we can deduce all the information we can. I mean, there's three games on that Saturday slate that could be picked that help narrow down. I mean, what if if the guy two from the bottom, if he takes Minnesota. We're probably going to take double green back. Right, especially right. You now, and the result matters too. So, well, wait a minute. Well, yeah, and my, oh, you take, boy, because once again, I, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just really just addicted to this idea. So, I, I would sort of, I would, I would think the opposite. I, I would, I would think that the more people that take Minnesota, the more you want to save them. Oh, but you are doing that. Sorry. So you, yeah, played, no, no, why, 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 we're saying the, the benefit thing. of 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 this extra slate. No, 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 you're right, you're right. Especially when you have two entries, you get to see if people get knocked out. Right. Um, if someone, right. if, if one of these guys take Minnesota and we don't, and they get knocked out, that's going to affect our picks later. Right. Especially Absolutely. if the person with Green Bay takes Minnesota, because then we're on a smaller group. The group will only be ourselves, most likely. Right. Like one of our entries or two. And then so, and so it doesn't matter. So you could just go ahead and do it, you know? Like, I mean, there, there, there's a scenario where, one of these two people take Minnesota and Minnesota loses and the guy takes Buffalo and they lose. And I wake up Sunday morning and there's five people that have to pick. And that's, and, and, and that's going to, that will help determine what our picks are going to be. It's hard. I, it's hard to go through all that information because things can change. I guess Mariota's not starting on Sunday. So now new Orleans is like a four and a half five point favorite or so that changes things too, because the bottom three entries are the, are the entries that we're dodging. 
we don't want to duplicate their Washington pick. Right. But if, if New Orleans, you mean, I you mean, want you New mean, Orleans mean, to be a bigger favorite. You mean the three? Because one of them you have here. Now, what's this bottom one that doesn't have Washington available? Um, well, the bottom three, everyone has Washington. Oh, but what's this guy under under Green Bay, the one that says Cincinnati? I think he – well, this was – Oh, that is Washington. I'm sorry. I was just, I was, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I think so. he's – until I woke up this morning and saw that New Orleans was, was more favorited, I thought he should take Cincinnati because the, 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 the entry with Buffalo – if that person takes Buffalo on Saturday, he knows you'll be the only one with Cincinnati. Right. And why would you risk duplicating someone's New Orleans or Washington pick? Because his, his three best picks are New Orleans, Cincinnati, Washington. So if you know the guy took Buffalo on Saturday, you well, should wake up on Sunday and say, well, I have to take Cincinnati because I don't want to risk duplicating the New Orleans or Washington pick. They're slightly more favorited, but that, that, that just wouldn't be a good decision. Well, I think in general – Okay, you, you look at and this is my my thoughts on these on the on the, the multiple slates thing. In, in general, um, the, the the philosophy is the same as it is in poker, as it is the same as it is in, in daily fantasy sports, is that you want to be the one to act last. Okay, and and and, and in poker you want to be on the button, which means yep. you you get all the information as much information as possible before you have to do anything. Same with daily fantasy sports, like all. Uh, you know, when you're when you're between different plays, it's always better to kind of play the team that's later because again, it's like the more information you have, you know, you, it's, it's just always the better and in, in life. And, and and it helps for he it helps a lot for hedging too. It's just you know, Green Bay plays on Monday. If everybody loses in front. It's it's yeah, it's just Monday it's just, football. It's, I have a full, I have a full day to decide how I'm going to. If manage that but whatever again like again the, the more the more information you have in, at your disposal in in life like the better okay correct now, so, now, so, now, going going along with that i think it's very important now we we are not going to make our decision until at earliest when the buffalo game starts on saturday because that's when the maximum available pick information is is released um, if that guy does not take Buffalo, that really changes things because then he's going to be taking Cincinnati or Washington. And if he doesn't take Buffalo, we're not going to take Washington because we don't want to, we definitely don't want to be in a group of three Washington picks. So the advice that I would give, if you are using all the information that you have available, not just for this week, but for any week. And like you said, anything in life, don't make your your decision prematurely. We're not going to set, you know, Jesse and I aren't going to decide we're going to take um, two Green Bays or we're going to take Green Bay and Washington because we don't want to start hardening that decision before we have all the available information because it'll make us less likely to want to budge once we get the information that would dictate that we should do something different. I think so, I'm going. I think I'm going to go a step further. So again, one of the cool things about poker is that is that you know there's advantage to being on the button, but sometimes it's it's exact not exactly clear about how much that advantage. I mean, you know, there's obviously there's an advantage. Yeah, that's the same with anything. Like obviously there's there's a a benefit to having you know to waiting, but you don't know exactly what that benefit is. So, but I, I would say that it's it's possible that if you have options on Sunday, that it's I, I could even argue it might even be bad to play Minnesota or Cleveland um, uh, just because you're giving up the uh, opportunity to do something different on Sunday. Now, unfortunately, in survivor pool stuff, there aren't that many options. So, like, if you if, if the only thing you would have available is Washington or nothing, you know what I mean, then then obviously that doesn't that doesn't fly. But if you had multiple like, – like this guy that's got New Orleans, Cincinnati, and Washington available for Sunday um, – um, like, uh, oh, actually, you have him pegged as not playing Minnesota or Cleveland. Okay, so that, that makes sense. Um, but like, even like the guy won from the bottom, like, I don't think that he should play Minnesota or Cleveland. You know what I mean? Like, I think he should wait and eat and then wait and see what happens. I, I, th you know, you're right. I agree. I, uh, the last thing I told Jesse last night when we were uh, texting on Telegram, I said, we, we should not pick minnesota because we should just hope someone else does yeah. it so that we have the most information yeah the, pro the problem with that is if we go that route 
Okay, yeah. And no one takes Minnesota, and then this guy somehow doesn't take Buffalo, and, and, and one of the guys doesn't take Cleveland, which is unlikely anyway. We're going to have to take double Green Bay. And that really just doesn't feel that great. Um, so, so because of that, we might just have to, it, you know, we might just say, you know what, let's just take Minnesota and hope it works out. If we uh, had new, if we had new Orleans or Cincinnati available, we would never, ever, ever, ever take Minnesota ever because we, we have too many options and we need, we got to use the information, but I, I, think, problem, I, I think having double green Bay is, is not, is not a bad thing. No, I, I don't think it, no, I don't think it's bad. No, I, I definitely don't think it's bad. Um, but Washington is nice if, if solo, but you know, we're just gonna have to do some guesswork. Now I do want to look, I, I, I included these other weeks cause I thought it was important. Yeah. Um, week 17, I showed, uh, all the people that have the chargers, the chargers play the Rams that week. Yeah, there's, and, there's another team, by the way, in Tampa. In Tampa Bay, plays yeah. Carolina. So those are those are there. Uh, four people of the Chargers, and two of those people, uh, you no, know, five people of the Chargers, and two of those also have Tampa. So the other line of thinking is you don't. I don't want to duplicate picks with the people that have Tampa Bay available because they would have an advantage over me. I would rather we only be up against the Chargers people so I could deviate from the Chargers and take like Detroit and then gain an advantage over the Chargers people. But the Tampa Bay people would always trump whatever advantage I could try to gain by pivoting off of the Chargers. So this week's simple. I mean, the Tampa people both have picks I don't have. I mean, they have Philadelphia Buffalo. So they're, they're likely going to take those teams, I would think, um, meaning next week, we need to really consider, you know, there, there, there is a scenario we, where we don't take Tennessee at all in week 16. That's what Jesse brought that up because especially with them both having Tampa, um, you know, a Tennessee or San Francisco loss would eliminate the Tampa people. And, and then we would regain an advantage for week 17. Plus it gives us an outright chance to scoop if we, you know, get off of Tennessee anyway. So it, it it, it, it's not dictating our picks this week because they have Philadelphia and Buffalo, but let's pretend if Philadelphia and Buffalo were not available to those entries, we would never ever take Washington this week because their best available pick for both these entries would be Washington if they didn't have Philadelphia or Buffalo. Um, so it, Washington would be, a bad pick for two reasons. The group would be too large for the current week and it would be preventing an opportunity to knock out an opponent that has an advantage over us in a later week. We would rather drop to, we'd rather take double green Bay instead to allow for that opportunity for them to get knocked out in Washington, or we'd just drop to like, you know, Denver instead or something like that. Okay. Um, there's one other uh, again, just a little monkey in the wrench. It may, may happen. Um, I thought I thought the lines would move a lot more, but I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. But one thing that happened in the Monday night game was um, was uh, Tyler Murray tore his ACL when he's out for the season. Um, yeah, and I I, I, ch I I checked their games within seconds after. He yeah, tore and game. I was expecting a little more. You know, I was expecting I was expecting Denver to be a bigger favorite. I was expecting. Well, it still could be the case that maybe Atlanta in 17 would might be a bigger favorite. Um, I guess not. You know what I mean? What can I tell you? Um, we'll, we'll see. I mean, <laughs> it definitely this. depends. If, if Atlanta wins the next uh, – you know, Well, next and if Arizona weeks. goes into Denver and, and puts up zero points and loses 35 to nothing, you know, yeah. then, then, then believe me, Atlanta is going to be minus seven in that game. You know, like, uh, yeah, and, well, and if Atlanta wins the next two games, they're still yeah. you know, the, 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 the divisional race as well. Uh, not to mention also that, you know, what do you, and, and not to mention that week 18, presuming San Francisco has something to play for, they're going to be like minus 20 in that game. I mean, like, what, I don't know what that's going to, I don't know what that's going to end up being. Um, Which one? San Francisco home against Arizona in week 18. I mean, like, oh, yeah. So, yeah, San Francisco's playing for that two seed. You know, absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, the, the other thing that I've been looking at is, you know, it's, it's, it's really, it's really something else. It's, you, you, 
I have zero of the, like the top tier elite teams left. And, you know, I, I felt like I played pretty optimally. And w- what that's left is outside of, and I put this in the discord outside of having Tampa Bay or San Francisco, there's not many advantages left for teams that you can hold other than those two teams specifically. And I think it's unlikely that a situation could have arise outside of, I don't know, I guess having new England or, you know, having green Bay for the end of the season, depending on, you know, who's playing and who's sitting, but in week 17, the best teams are the chargers and, you know, after Tampa Bay are the chargers in Detroit and like everybody has Detroit and most people, at least in my pool have the chargers. And if one of my entries was out, everyone has them, but one, because, you know, we split. So, you know, along the way on some of these weeks, so we wouldn't always be all in. So, um, you know, the chargers after the first few weeks, you know, it was funny if you go back, if, if we were to go back and listen through, through some of our podcasts or the season, we thought the chargers were going to be gone for everybody by like yeah. week six or something. They're like, a, there's like a three game stretch where they were going to be heavily picked. And then what happened was they sucked and then other teams rose and they didn't end up getting picked at all um, yeah. past that first week. Um, so every now here we are in week, you know, 15 and everybody's staring at having the chargers in 17 and then after that, it's the same teams. It's Jacksonville, Seattle. You know, these teams are going to pop up where in the end, when we talked about this a few weeks ago, we have one Seattle availability. Another reason I, I, I really wanted to not use all of them. Um, I guess I couldn't when you had two entries, but I thought Seattle could be a great pick for week 18. They're playing the Rams. Uh, they, they're, they're in a you know pretty big playoff race. And, you know, that, that, that could easily be, a 10, a 10 plus point favorite game for Seattle. Uh, so it's it shaping up to be pretty wild. And especially when everybody has Tennessee, everybody has Detroit, there's the opportunity is going to be dropping from these top teams for those weeks that are available to everybody. Speaking of which, uh, Detroit, let, let, I want to go back to the other pool we were tracking. I'm, I'm calling it the Madison pool, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Something else. Very, very surprising what happened last week. Um, so we were talking about this, this, this group of these, these, these people here, and we knew that Madison was going to play Cincinnati. We knew that who was going to play Dallas and we knew that Fantasia was going to play Seattle and Seattle busted. I had no idea that no splitting and he changed his screen name, by the way, (laughs) he changed from no splitting to split some play for the rest love it (laughs) that's fantastic love it he actually avoided seattle somehow and played detroit let's go i don't know how he came up with with that idea but uh i guess it was to differentiate from the other seattle that was going to be in there but he got uh very fortunate to um to escape well Uh, what he did here i don't know what the terms called i was talking about this with someone yesterday but you know, he knew that that guy was taking Seattle. Yeah. And I mean, wh- I mean, what's his choice? His choice is minus EV either way he takes it. He either gets on a group of two or he yep. drops to a lesser yep. team. And, you know, one thing he could do, uh, Galen did this in Greg Richards' pool a few years ago. He started posting his picks. Now, yeah. I didn't criticize it as much because I, I, I have done that myself um, in, in a pool. Yeah, that, but boy, it, it's – listen, it, it borders on, on – on, it's definitely kind of like kind of like advanced bush league sort of. I mean, it, yeah, it, I'm. Uh, it, I mean, it, I'm admitting that I did it. I'm not. No, no, I get it. Right. I get it. I'm not get saying it. it's right. I, I, it, it bore it. It borders on unethical. Um, but I mean, I guess. I mean, but let's, let's put it this way. Well, that, that's what's, what's, what's annoying. You knew that I was taking Seattle. So right. What's know, annoying though is that the his people, pick is great. What the, what's annoying though is that the people that that know it's that score very few of them. <laughs> let's put it that way. Um. And they don't even understand it. What was really annoying was like when people were doing this in nitrogen last a couple of years ago, because in nitrogen back then you couldn't change your picks. Yeah. Yeah. So when they said, Oh, look, I did this. That was incredible. That was basically like claiming a team, you know, and it's not like another person could say, well, I'm doing the same thing. So now you have to change. I'm sorry. I'm already in. You know, I can't, I can't even change if I wanted to. Sorry, guys. You know, yeah, I, I, I got to say, I, I quit playing a nitrogen. I just couldn't do it. You know, it, it, it was too yeah. stressful, the, the, the pick changing. And, 
and the drop boxes, the whole thing stressed me out. It is. It's kind of, and I'm, and I'm very happy to have gotten out of it after seeing the nonsense the last two years. But when you have bad rules like that and everyone's playing by the same bad rules, I would have a 100% done that. And actually I was telling my friend, I would do this if I was in this pool. And then the next week they started doing that. You know, the, sometimes it's unfortunate. I'm not, again, I'm not saying it's right, but you know, sometimes you got to do bad things to get bad rules changed. Uh, the, the, the Raiders won or lost Raiders won or lost that, that, that playoff game because they, they fumbled the ball forward. And, right. the, you know, obviously that was not allowed, but it was within the rules. And now you can't advance a fumble inside, you know, two minutes in the fourth quarter, but um, it, you know, unless it's the same player. So let's, so let's, so let's, let's take a look. At the, at the, That's a great pick. I want to say, I want to commend that guy though. That, that is so, that is so bright what he did. It, it's uh, he, he recognized he was in a bad spot. The, the what, what really sucks though, is when both players done that, that would have been unbelievable. If they both picked Detroit. Um, so, so let's see what we got. Who days is the only guy with green bet? Um, available. That's easy. So that seems easy. Let's just let's just let's just remind ourselves of who the top KC Philly Buffalo Green Bay. So let's go back to this. I just want to make because we know your pool. I don't I want to make sure no, no one I know, KC I know. left. So no one does have KC left. Buffalo, just make sure nobody's got Buffalo left. Philly, nobody's got Philly left. So now we're at Green Bay. Wow, we're all the way down to Green Bay, right? And then there's b- below that is Dallas. I'm presume nobody has Cincinnati, no which nobody has. Is Madison? I used them last, and then you're at San Francisco. So let's just see who these guys can take. So yeah, so who days is definitely taking Green Bay, right? So so no, well, well let's go team by team. Does well, no one, no wonder split some wants to split some and play for the play for the rest. <laughs> oh, it's too bad the guy in the bottom had San Francisco. No, he did not have San Francisco. Dude, the guy on the yeah, but the guy on the bottom is just gonna play Green Bay and say good luck, guys. So well, I'm at the see. I'm at the guy who got eliminated. I thought he might have San Francisco right. if he had won. But so he, who the who on earth did these guys play? So let's start with split some, I guess. So we we, we got past all the good teams. Who? Yeah, who well, I mean, Washington, New, 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 Washington, New Orleans, wait, wait. the next group. Who? Wait, who did? Well, uh, who did? Split some can use New Orleans, I guess. They could both use New Orleans, actually. Who else can they use Washington? Yeah, Min- Min- Washington. Minnesota and Minnesota. They could no, except Madison cannot use Minnesota. So split some is either going to use, I imagine, Washington, New Orleans. I mean, those are, at least those are the two, right? These are, let's just Minnesota, Washington, New Orleans. Yeah, Washington, New Orleans, Minnesota. Let's just see. So once again, split some, either Washington, Minnesota, New Orleans. I would, if I were he, I would save Minnesota for the reasons I mentioned before um, to maybe get two to one odds against Tennessee later. And then I would probably play, if I were him, Washington or New Orleans. But he's probably, in the end, since he said let's split, he's probably just going to, well, it's close between New Orleans and Minnesota. Wash all three of these are the same. So yeah, I'm, he, I'm, I'm telling you what though, I I don't want to get bashed for this uh, d- uh, down the road by the uh, poker ethics committee, but um, I would have a very difficult moral dilemma if I was in this spot because I would feel so sick to my stomach if I got on the same team as somebody else with three people left. I mean, that just that would be. Right. Uh, well, this is not this is not this is not an ethical what you're talking about here. So I mean, I don't know these people. So, so, so if I were, if I were split some, I would play one of those, like either one. Well, you have no, he has no choice. I think um, I might, I might change my screen name again that I'm picking Minnesota. I mean, like, right, I mean, like right. it'd just be, it'd be like, again, I, I don't want to get bashed for this later, but you know, it, it's well, so well, split some, well, split some is the only guy that can take Minnesota. Oh, perfect. He should take Minnesota. Okay. So split some can take Minnesota because he's the only. Yeah, okay, I would a hundred percent do that. And here's here's why. I don't want to do anything that is gray area, and I have done it before, and I will right. do it again. Right. Um. For this. So 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 so, so far but, we, so so but, far we're easy. We have who day. With but winning Houdet. first is very good in this scenario. You're not you're not dropping all this EV to take the first pick. I yeah. 
I'm taking Minnesota, and if they win, you know the one guy's taking Green Bay. And depending on when the, that's – well, I guess the second game is going to be played at noon regardless because it's going to be Washington or New Orleans. Those are both – those are both uh, the, early, the, the well, one Eastern games. But uh, what I would do personally in this spot is I would take Minnesota if I were him, and then I'm calling, I'm calling my bookie, and I'm saying, listen – I want to, uh, I want to do, a, I want to, I want to, I want to hedge, I want to, I want to hedge a little bit, but I don't know who I'm betting on yet. I need you to, I need you to let me bet this amount of money on this team, but you need to give me, uh, I'm sure you figure need, it out. I'm sure you, you need to give me one minute after the picks are released. I'm sure. Um, so that's important. I mean, like yeah. it's hard to have, you, you can't hedge before you, before you know who the other team's taking, but it's going to be one of those two teams, Washington or New Orleans. So who day with green Bay split some with Minnesota, and Manasal with either New Orleans or who's the other one or Washington, yeah. right? So I'll be able to tell you exactly which one he's going to take. So I'm going to, let me just see, uh, because we know the way he thinks. So, oh, yeah. well, we got a problem because they're both hashtag division games. Um, I know he doesn't probably want to take the division game. So he's taking New, he's taking New Orleans. And the reason he's taking New Orleans is he's, he, I, I would think that he uh, he'd like to. Pull, I mean, I'm like this too. That line could be wrong. If if the backup's playing this new guy, yeah. I, I thought I read this morning that Mariota's out. And if someone else is playing, you know, Mariota is what he is. And yeah, the next day could have a higher ceiling, but his floor could be so much lower than what what you actually think it is. Well, and you could also argue that that New Orleans has some some uh, funky playability in eighteen. But you have to think he's got oh, some yeah. Else. yeah, very much, very much so. Yeah, but the problem else? is they lost last week. If they if they beat Tampa Bay, it's different. They, they, they have no, they have like one. Well, excuse me, Madison. Well, they all do. All three, all three of these guys have Indianapolis available. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think anyone's taking Indianapolis in any pool. Yeah, that, that that's gonna be very interesting for Week 18. Um, but that's why that, that's another reason. Uh, why when you're looking at this in sections and, and this is the end game we're at 15 on out and this is where you have to start planning for week 18 every single person in every single pool outside of some double pick pools that had the, the right weeks have indianapolis have indianapolis everybody yeah. yeah and at current spreads they've been the biggest favorite that you can likely have for the entire season and you have to find a path, especially if you have more people. If there's three people left, I don't know, take them and hope everyone does. It. But if there's 12 people left in your pool, you have to drop or you have to have something else. Um, so saving Minnesota and hoping that they're playing for the two or three seed and they're playing everybody is something you have to play for. Uh, the same thing if you have, uh, who are the other teams that we're mentioning? San Francisco. You know, it's tough to not not play them next week, but they're, they're probably going to be playing for something on week 18 as well for seeding. Um, so it, 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 it's at least a strong um, possibility that they'll be a large favorite that week when and you get the two seed. I mean, they're on their four string quarterback and the spread the spread didn't move for next week. It's still, they're six and a half point favorites. They were six and a half point favorites three weeks ago for that game. It's incredible. Um, so that, that, you know, the, the, the line setters and the, and the, well, the, the market likes San Francisco with this fourth string quarterback, you got to consider that they're going to keep winning and you would like to have them in week 18. Okay. I'm going to get going. Uh, Wait, one, one more, one more comment. I, I wrote this down. Somebody in Circa. No, we, no, no, no. no. I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to hold off on that. The, what I was about to say, by the way, was that next week, uh, being the Christmas week, I want to spend a little time on Circa because of the Christmas uh, aspect. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do that. But so with that said, go ahead, give give a, a Circa comment. Give a Circa. How, someone didn't take Dallas last week. How is that possible? It's it's not possible. I don't get it. Nine people had them. Eight people took them. How is that possible? Well, I, that, well, now, well, now they've got now they've got Dallas. Uh, ready they'll to, never take. They might never take them. Where are they maybe, take maybe them? not, or maybe they'll take them uh, right now. They're only four and a half point favorites. I don't know. I don't know what. They, listen, as I said, who knows what these people do? 
You know what I mean? I know. That, that's, that, that, that's pretty incredible, though, dropping off a 17-pointer. Well, but you know what? I mean, like, what are the uh, – who, who do you end up taking? I have no idea. I, I was so baffled. It didn't really matter to me. Well, you can pull that up. All right. All right. Good luck, everybody. Uh, good luck. Good luck, Mike. Uh, do not do not hang up when you cut this off. I got to ask you something. Okay. Let me uh, – all right. I'm going to stop recording now. At least one minute. Uh, stop sharing first. We'll stop recording.